This video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, we're going to talk about iOS 17 beta 6, which just came out for the iPhone. So you guys can go ahead and download that now. If you are on the beta train, we're going to talk about new features, bug fixes, performance, and battery life in this video. So let's get right into it. First of all, this beta came in at 766.6 megabytes. So again, a relatively big beta. And here's that build number for you. It ends in a C, which means again, we are getting very close to a final release. Also the Apple Watch, if you're on the beta train for that, that one also ends in a C as well. I didn't check the iPad yet, but I'm assuming it's also a C. Mac did not have a new Sonoma version, so that's that. Anyways, let's get on to the features. Now, as I'm filming this, the public beta is also out, so you guys can go get that. But the biggest change I think in this beta is that the end call button is now in the middle instead of being on the far right. So uh, people were mad about that. Some people were complaining. Looks like Apple switched it up pretty quick. So that is, uh, I guess, commendable. We'll see how this does, considering it's not on its own. It's still in a row. Um, hope Maybe in the future, they'll kind of push it down a little so it's on its own. We'll see what they do, but it's now in the middle for all you complainers. <laughs> there you go. Also, there's a brand new feature where if you press and hold on the plus button here, you can quickly get to your photos. So that's a lot quicker than having to hit the plus and then hit photos and go into it that way. Um, it's just nicer to be able to just press and hold. I do wish it was a bit quicker because it does feel like you have to hold it for a little while, but regardless, it's nice to see that they added that. If you open up settings and click on messages now and then go to iMessage apps, you can now toggle different apps on and off if you want. So that is a nice change. Next change they made was actually some people were reporting that system data was taking up a ton of space on their phone. That appears to have been fixed for some people. I didn't have that issue, but if you did, go check your iPhone storage and see if system data is now lower. Also, some people are reporting that if you have a shortcut set to toggle on and off cellular networks on an eSIM, you can now do that with shortcuts. Previously, it wasn't working. And lastly, this is a pretty small one, but if you go into settings and you scroll to display and brightness, these wallpapers have been changed to be iOS 17 wallpapers, which means Apple is really thinking about the small things now and starting to perfect this operating system for the masses. So those are all the new features, not a whole lot, but I think that end call button is probably the biggest one. Let's talk about performance. So far, my battery has been dropping pretty quickly, but the phone is not super hot, which means it's probably just caching things in the background slowly and doing its thing. So no issues there so far. I'll have to do a follow-up video in a few days and let you guys know, but so far, no issues there. Performance seems fine. However, there is an issue, and this was actually in the last beta as well. It's quite annoying, actually. So typically, if you're just sitting on a screen and you pull down, this is pretty smooth, right? Looks pretty smooth, no issues. However, if you switch pages of apps and then pull down, well, it didn't do it that time, but if I do it again, you will see some juddering and lagginess. Like, look at that. It's definitely dropping frames there. So let's do that again. So I'll scroll and then swipe up. You could probably see it there, but you really have to scroll between the pages to see it. There it goes again, again. I don't know if it's gonna show up on this video since I'm not filming in 120 frames per second, but that lag is super annoying. And hopefully they fix that because it just looks really bad when you're swiping between pages. I like to do stuff quickly on my phone. I don't like to sit on it all day. So pulling down like this, I don't do that. Uh, I swipe between a page, I pull down, I take a look and I don't like to see that jankiness. That's just not an iOS thing. Apple has to fix that. But so far that's the only bug or issue that I've noticed with this beta, but I will have to do an updated video in a few days. So overall, do I recommend this? Absolutely no issues with this one so far. Everything seems to be working as expected. So if you like this short and sweet video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.